Isaiah 13, verse 17. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. First and foremost, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of great millstone, for rule well and teach well. Shalom to the old like men that scattered abroad, pushing the truth without sincerity, right? And shalom to a few sisters that's taking heed and giving order, right? Especially inside these last days. On the brother number one, coming to the quick, Lord, one edifying video. I'm going to the point of this article, I mean, not article, but um, video, right, that the brothers had posted on um, Instagram, you know, so I snagged it down and wanted to, you know, just put some precepts behind it, you know, because we see that the Lord is stirring up the, the hearts, right, the, the law, the mind of these other nations, you know, especially China, you know, and Russia, you know, these, these big, big nations, man. But what we know prophecy has to be fulfilled. And we're seeing that the Lord is putting these, the spirit on these nations to what? Get in that war mode, man. Right? Ecclesiastes, matter of fact, it's that time of the season. Right? Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 8. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Right? And it says, matter of fact, I go to the sound. It says, a time to rent and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. Right? And we're right now, we're in that time of speaking. Right, warning you about these things, these prophecies is going to come to pass, and the men won't be able to warn. Right, then they go back to a time to keep silence. Right, won't be nothing to be talking about. We'll be in the mix of it, you know. But just going back to right, it says a time of war and a time of peace. Right, we're in that time of war stage, man. Right? You know, these nations are cranked up. Right, and when you look on a lot of platforms, you know, you see these these nations like Russia, China. Slacky. You see these nations like Russia and China, and hey, they're pretty much showcasing their, their um, nuclear destruction that they have, man. Why right? you have videos with, with Putin talking about I mean, he got he got you know nukes that can you know pretty much destroy Earth, right? The Saint ones and twos, man. Right? They have been you know uh, uh, putting these things together, right? Because they're ready. Why while, while America worrying about uh, TikTok being banned, man? You know. They're ready for war. All right, that's why it states in the book of uh, Isaiah 13 and, and 17, right? They're not going to be able to, you know, regard the silver that America has try to buy out of this weapon, man. You know, their mind is locked in. And that's like when a, when a bear smells blood, he can smell it up, what, two miles away, seven miles away? You know, probably less than seven. But it's just the point. They're locked in, you know? Um... I'm gonna play this video and I'm gonna grab more presets behind it too. Right, here we go. Boxers alert, let's focus on Russia. Putin's latest warning to the West, Moscow, ready for nuclear war. Mm. Matter of fact, you know, ain't gonna lie. The weak bodies that we in, I be trying to grab the presets as I go go along. So Lord willing, you know, still edifying to you, right? But you know. Just, just to bring out the point, right? Because, like I said, it, um, like the video is going to go into, you know, it says that his his troops are ready for combat, right? So this right here, the book of uh, Isaiah, is it fifty four and nineteen? I'm not sure. Excuse me. So I can, I'm thinking about. Um, I know what I was thinking about. This this is the right scripture though. Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, that bring forth an instrument for his work. All right, what's that gonna be that major work? Right, hey, those 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 ICBMs, into the intercontinental ballistic missiles. Right. They're gonna be able to get over here to America with 30 minutes, 15 minutes, man. <laughs> you know? But these scientists are, are creating these things, man, right? Getting them ready for that big day, that day of doom. This is in the fire that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy, right? Because those those missiles, little do you know, they are considered a waster, right? Because that's the only purpose for it is to waste something, man. Destroy, you know, right? Similar to a gun. A gun can do no type of thing other than damage and kill, you know? That's the only purpose for it. 
Let's go back to this video. Matter of fact, I want to pause him right there. It said, hey, comes out about his nuclear war warnings. Right? And what? Like, we know this is through the spirit, through the scriptures. Warning goes before what? Destruction. <laughs> you know? So we know this is coming. Matter of fact, let me grab another quick precept. It's the book of Habakkuk. Right? Two. Um, I start at one. Right, um, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I'm reproved. And we are your modern day watchmen on that sitting on that high tower. We hear the warnings going up. We know the warnings going uh, is going to turn into actual combat real soon, man. You know, it's just letting it be known. Right, verse two, and the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision. Right? It says, write the vision to make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. Right? And we're digging out all these scriptures, letting you know that at a soon time, right? At any given time, you know, um, those missiles can be shot off. Well, I'm going to say, let me correct myself. After the the the, uh, the C hip, right? The Revelation 13 and 16 is made mandatory. Right? After that, hey, it, it, it can pop off. Any given moment, you know, right? I don't want to correct myself because you know a prophecy won't just jump up another prophecy, right? It has to fall in line, you know. And the Karagma is before World War, you know, the WW3, right? But the thing is to write the vision and make it plain upon tables, right? We're breaking down what the arrows is, you know, how you go into the book of uh, Joel, you know, saying before it was the Garden of Eden, after that is a desolation, you know. It takes a, a nuclear missile to do that. You know, so we we bringing it plain upon tables, man. You know, we we warning you through the signs that the Lord has, you know, um, blessed us with, right? The um the discernment, right? That's why it states in the book of, uh, like I said, Second Edge Nine, you know, measured out of time diligently, right? When you're measuring it, we you understand what's going on. You paying tight attention, you know, and you making it plain to the ones that that can't see as far as you, you know. Verse 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, right? Meaning it's going to be, it's going to go into effect, right? But it's for an appointed time, right? Which we already know is going to be after the time of the sea help. Any time after that, it says, though, though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry, right? <clears throat> I mean, it's going to come to pass whether you believe it or not. You know, so I had to just bring that out right quick. So I'm gonna go back to that video. And he says Russia is ready to use nuclear weapons, and he says that his country's nuclear capabilities are superior to that of the United States. Here's another article that came out: Russia ready for nuclear war. Putin claims we have them with us at all times, constantly in a state of combat readiness. Putin warns again that Russia is ready to use nuclear weapons if its sovereignty is threatened. China responding to this yet. Con, and, and guess what? They, they, they man, hey, they got, they, they got these missiles and stuff, and they ready, right? They ready for some action. They ready to go ahead and test them out on America, man. And we ready for it, too, Lord, when we get beamed up with the watch, the, you know, to watch the show. You know, matter of fact, let me um grab that in the book of Revelation alone, right? Because we know what's happening. We know what's coming, Right? Revelation 11, verse 14. It's like these yarns killing me, man. It says, the second woe is past. Behold, the third woe coming quickly. You know, just to back up the point again, you know. Because, hey, <clears throat> they say they at any given moment, they, you know, they, they're ready, right? And we know that this, the um, World War II had already have went by. Right, and World War Three is what's going to, you know, end it on that, and we can see who's going to be heading, going to be the head of trying to, you know, heading it, heading this out, right? Um, Russia. Yesterday, this article coming out. 
coming out today. China responds to Putin's nuclear weapons warning. Beijing said Wednesday that nuclear powers should jointly seek de-escalation following Vladimir Putin's statement that Russia is prepared for a possible nuclear conflict. Now, asked to respond, the Chinese foreign minister stressed that nuclear war cannot be won and must never be fought. China believes that all nuclear weapon states need to embrace the idea of atomic security and uphold global strategic balance and stability. Under the current circumstances, parties need to take concrete action and jointly seek de-escalation at this time. Let me know if you agree with China. But take a look at this. As you recall, just a couple months ago, back in November, Putin pulls Russia... Mm-hmm. It says Putin pulls Russia out of nuclear test ban treaty. You know, but it's just the point, right? These these folks have a has woken the bear up, you know, and they and they ready, you know, and and America's fin- I mean America, what well, Russia is finna have its allies, you know, uh, being the same spirit too, right? Um, this right here is the book of uh, Joel. Three. Yeah, I started first. Uh, yeah, well, I I hit two first. Um, it says I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, right? Yeah, with Shapat. It says and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. Con, that's a good one, but that's not what I really wanted. Um. I just hit at nine, right? It just more to it. Um, <clears throat> uh, stating the, back up the point with you know Russia and its allies, you know, it says, "Proclaim ye this." Um, verse nine, it's like it. Joel three, verse nine, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war, right? Going back to what Ecclesiastes three and seven, verse eight. You know, it says, "Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men." Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Right? It says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Right? And that's that's where we at. Right? In this time of war, right, we see, hey, you got Russia, you got China. Them boys on standby. Them, them boys ready. Right? But also, you're going to have their allies. Right? They're going to be supplying they, they, uh, the, uh, the small ones, man. And they're going to be ready for war. You know? It says, assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. It says, thither cause thy mighty ones to come down. Right? And, and O Lord, it's like it. It says, cause thy mighty ones to come down. O Lord, Yahweh. Right? It says, um, so pretty much, you know, uh, these these um, other nations, right? They're also going to be ready as well. To help tag along with China and Russia, man. You know? So, like I say, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying. You know, I just want to bring this out <clears throat> because we know how close we are. Right? Russia is ready. You know, Russia ready to you know, handle, handle their business, man. You know, Putin is hey, he's fed up. Right? But like I say, Lord willing, this is edifying, you know, to the point. Right? Until next time, I'm going to give our honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. By Hashem, Rukh Till next time, Shalom.